Premier Mortals Unite proudly presents their special series, Businesses That Care. Your host, Julianne Sullivan, has searched the globe for businesses with unique ideas about how they engage and inspire their workplace environment. Each episode is full of ideas you can easily implement so that you too can be a business that cares. Are you ready? Then let's go in three, two, one. Hey there, listeners. You're listening to Mere Mortals Unite special series, Businesses That Care. I literally go all over the world to find people who are running businesses where they understand that culture makes a difference and all the way through to customers and how they enhance employee engagement. We pass these great ideas on to you and you can use them in your own business. Today, I'm really excited because I have my second and hopefully not my last international guest all the way from Edinburgh, Scotland. And my guest is Dominique Tuddy. Did I do that right? Correct. From the Mortgage Advice Bureau. And the first thing, anyway, before I get into a question, hi, Dominique, and thanks so much for joining us today. Hi, nice to be here. So Dominique is the directing manager of Mortgage Advice Bureau, which I found to be very interesting. What does a Mortgage Advice Bureau do? So we essentially, and in, in, in the UK, I'm not sure if it's the same in the US, but in the UK, we we uh, we advise and we source and we arrange mortgages for our our clients. Uh, you know, we deal with everybody from people buying their first home to a remortgage client, perhaps an investment property or a holiday home, and we essentially advise them, and then we uh, we, we we source products through some fancy sourcing systems and we uh, advise our clients on, on which lender is the best, would be the best uh, lender to, to go with and we then essentially arrange that mortgage for uh, for that, that client. Okay, so, ba- so basically you're a mortgage broker. Correct, that's exactly what we are. A yeah, mortgage broker. you're a mortgage I broker, but it sounds like, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you collect the information and then you find the best mortgage. Now, this is very interesting to me because a lot of times, certain industries we don't think of them really caring about their employees as much as other businesses um so this is the first time i've had a mortgage broker on here which is great because um one of the things i am very proud of is that we have covered a lot of different industries and a lot of different sizes of companies so that the listener can't say oh that doesn't relate to me um, so this will be really interesting um, for anyone who's in the financial world. But again, the things we're going to talk about today can be used in any business. Now, you've been in business for quite a while and you just took over. You kind of did a joint venture with Mortgage Advice Bureau. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you was because I think you have some unique ideas. Uh, And the first one we're going to talk about is this elongated training program. Tell us a little bit about what you do, because in and of itself, after you talk about it, it really shows how much you care about your employees. It's 13 weeks long. That is a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big commitment. Yeah. Is it all industry specific or is some of that training about the growth of the individual? That's a really good question. 13 weeks is a very long time in our, in our industry, in our world. A lot of mortgage firms will look at one week training, two at most usually. And our, our, our training program is, is, is broken up into different areas. It's very progressive. So the first two weeks of, that, of those 13, are classroom based, where the the individual would be the delegate would be learning about uh, the compliance side of things, the system side of things, um, and we'd be going through some role plays and, and and how that might look when advising, and that's followed by eleven weeks of of pretty much on the job 
training, but very, very closely monitored. They're, they're in a specific training area within the office. Um, and, and as I say, it's very, very, very progressive. Um, and, and it's really an academy program, uh, to, to be quite honest. But yeah, there's a, there's a huge investment, not only from us as the, as the employers, but from the individuals themselves. We have both employed advisors and self-employed advisors. So the self-employed advisors, they want to be out writing business quite quickly because there's a, there's a commercial need for them sure. to, be, to be writing business. So for them, it's a huge commitment to, to go through that training program. But really, by the end of the 13 weeks, they really are very rounded and, and know, their, uh, know their craft really, really quite well. So one of the benefits I see in a 13-week training program is it allows people to opt out. You know, sometimes people get into a profession, they think they're really going to like it. Um, in this train long training program, it really gives somebody the opportunity to say, I like this or I don't like this. And uh, in the long run, that saves everyone, you know, time and money. That's true. Uh, I, I, it's not happened to date, and we've got a, we've got a good number of uh, courses have gone on. I think that comes down to a few things. You know, at the end of the day, we interview very well. We would only take someone on who was really quite committed. And to be honest, more often than not, they have industry experience. They're coming from a bank or or another broker, so they know okay. what the job is. But but you're right. You know, I would rather somebody after eight weeks said like, "This is not what I thought it was. I'm I'm going to try something else." Because, you know, you know there's, less, uh, there's less risk associated with that and less investment. Right, and less risk to lose clients as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the client is everything. You know, one thing you touched on a minute ago was the culture. And uh, I, I, it's funny, I, I love a power freeze from time to time. And one of my favorites that I saw on LinkedIn actually was a very, very simple, just a few words, but simply read, culture eats strategy for breakfast. And I firmly believe that in that, you know, you can have the best strategy in the world, but if you've not got the right culture and the right people driving the business, then the strategy is nothing. And conversely to that, you, you, you might not have much of a strategic direction, but if you've got an amazing culture, an amazing group of people all striving for the same common goals, then you've got a huge chance of success. Where the magic happens is if you can harness both those things together, and I believe we have, we've got very, very clear strategic direction in all different elements of the business, including training and business development and marketing and so on and so forth. But you can also get the culture right, and that starts from day one. It starts from the very first interview that I conduct, and then that is embedded further in the 13 weeks training, and we're talking about the five core values right the way through that journey. So by the time the 13 weeks finish, the culture is really, really embedded uh, in that group of, of, of trainees. Why don't you share with us those five core values you have? Sure, sure. Uh, so the five core values, uh, one is no stone left unturned, and that was the original strap line in the business that relates to we will do everything we possibly can to find a mortgage for your solution, for your problem, uh, and, and I believe in that. The second one um, is, is never give up. Very simple, but very important to me. We came through some tough old times from 2007 to 2013, and I used to go to work sometimes thinking, my God, I could do to give up tomorrow. Uh, but if you really, really believe, in, and I think that's a really powerful phrase, if you truly believe that you're never going to get up and every time you get knocked down, you come back fighting even stronger and you're constantly learning, then wow, what a, what a, what a business you, you will have and, 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 a, and a culture you'll have. The third one uh, is embrace the challenge of change. Ch change is coming in all our industries, but certainly in mortgages, things like robo-advice and intelligent banking. We're only just getting started with this stuff and you either – you either get left behind or you become a market for yourself. And, and we truly are partnered very well with Mortgage Advice Bureau. There's a lot of investment going into that, you know, millions of pounds being spent in, in, in these areas. And we truly are embracing change within our industry. Um, the fourth one is uh, striving for perfection in everything we do. That middle management term of what does good look like, I, I, I don't particularly like. You know, let's not be good. Let's not accept mediocrity, so let's strive for, for perfection. Of course, perfection is arbitrary. It's a matter of opinion often. But, um, you know, if, 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 if you can strive for perfection in every little thing you do, whether that's how we interview people or how the office looks or, or how the canteen looks or all of these things, if we can be as perfect as we can be, then, wow, what an awesome business we will have. We will, we will have awesome employees. We will be a, 
firm that people want to be associated with and will have happy clients. And the fifth one I quite like uh, is very, very simple. It's enjoy the journey. And that's really, <laughs> that's really about you get one go at life. This is not a practice run. Um, you know, you spend a lot of time at work. It's actually as you walk out of our, of our office, it's above the doors. Um, and it's really about everybody in the office really enjoying what they do and having a good vibe in the office. And I, and I do that because if I, I want to get the most out of everybody I employ, then surely they have to enjoy what they're doing if you want a peak performer. So those are the five core values that I'm delighted to share and, with you. And we'll have those in the show notes, but it's interesting. I love the fact that you have enjoy the journey above the door so people see it all the time. Yeah. Uh, in my in a room in my house on the wall, it's about four feet. It says it's not about the pursuit of happiness; it's being happy in the pursuit. Wow, <laughs> tremendous! Well, there was an American football coach and player, and I forget his name now, but he said, "In pursuit of perfection, you can catch excellence." And that's, <laughs> that's and good. That, I like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so. Here we are. I think we're twins from different mothers. Yeah. Right behind me is um, a writing by the Dalai Lama, and the title of it is Never Give Up. Oh, wow. Tremendous. So I look at that every day, and I, I uh, speak about change all the time and change management and how we deal with change because it is the one thing that is a constant in every part of our lives. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you either embrace that or you are fearful of it and, and sometimes a bit of both. But, yeah, and it'll uh, crush you because it's going to keep happening. Sure. It never goes away, that's for sure. Yeah, no. no. well, I like those. Those are really great. And and I think, um, like you said, in your training when, you know, it's all about consistency and repetition and reinforcement. And certainly, I love that sign above your door. You know, that that's... We're all about simple solutions that give you big results. That sign above the door that everyone reads every day, enjoy the journey, is perfect for that. It's simple, it doesn't cost a lot of money, and it has a huge impact. I have, I have signs all over my house to yeah, remind me yeah, the, about well, the person I wanna be. Yeah, absolutely, one of my, one of my favorites of digressing slightly is in our in our kitchen, my, my, my wife is our finance director, so we live and breathe the good things and the bad things. And we like to work hard and we like to have fun as well. And in our kitchen, it says, work like a captain, play like a pirate. And that just What's it say again? Brilliant. It says, work like a captain, play like a pirate. Walk like a captain. No, work, work. Work, work like work, a captain. Work, captain. Play like a pirate. Play like you can a edit pirate. That out if you want, because that, that probably doesn't have a place in this, but it's good anyway. <laughs> of course it does. It's a, but see, that does have a place on this show because I think fun is a really important element of creating a great culture. So having a saying like that, which has a lot of depth to it, but it's kind of tongue in cheek, right? And I think that's really, really important. Um, to do that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was I was sent some information on the company and it says we position culture and staff development at the forefront of our growth plans. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so I mean we've talked quite a little bit about culture and how we try and embed the best practices and what that potentially means to our, our clients and our introducers and associates. And that's, that's vital. Uh, the second part of that, I think, is, is around staff development, staff engagement. Uh, we, so, yeah, we, we, I'm a big believer in that stuff. You know, I, I, one, of, one, of my, one of a little piece of work I did was, was a, a talk on hire then and staff. And it was about hiring the very best people I could find to do the job I needed done, whether it was in marketing or sales or admin. And then fundamentally in, inspiring them to be the best they could possibly be. And there's a few different beliefs around that, but you know, it's not just about it's not just about money. It's not just about uh, recognition. It's it's a combination of, of lots of different things. And one of the biggest things that that that, that most people look for in, in any job opportunity, I believe, is, is career progression and and personal development and and, and all these things that, that that go with it. We are extremely proud of the fact that we we had in excess of I think twelve or thirteen promotions last year within the business. So we we always look to internally promote 
uh, first. We had one instance where a guy was promoted five times within the space of 14 months. <laughs> uh, and, and very legitimate promotions. And, 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 and essentially, he came as a, as a sort of tier one administrator and worked his way right the way through four or five promotions. And he's now a, a mortgage advisor and doing very well. So, you know, that's a huge... Uh, uh, hugely rewarding and hugely proud of these sorts of facts. You know, you you see people who maybe are upscaling, buying a, a bigger house because they're doing well, and that's all. That's all exciting stuff. So, yeah, staff engagement is hugely important. There's no doubt about it. We did a, a an internal staff survey uh, not that long ago, and we looked at staff engagement and what you know what people were looking for. We recently introduced private medical care for all of our staff, and just little things like we now provide free food. Uh, to, to the whole team and, and free looking, what? Free fruit, bananas. Oh, great! You know, okay, yeah. Accent, Scottish accent. Is yeah, it, is I know, it, I know. It's you know, sorry. people are probably going. I understand, them, but just in case, I'm asking where I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, things like walking club, and and so we're doing lots and lots of stuff around that as well. And and I see you also do a lot of charity work as a as a team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we, we engage in lots of different things throughout the year. We are heavily involved with the, 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 the Ministry of Defence. Uh, we, we, every year we, ha- we choose two charities to support. Um, this year as a, as a friend of mine and a Scottish international uh, rugby star by the name of Doddy Weir, uh, who has, has, uh, he's raising money for motor neuron disease. Uh, and we have a, a, a charity, a cancer charity this year as well. So we actually have a charity and social committee, and it's these guys' job to. to I know, I like that. Yeah, I like yeah. that. And organize all the nights out, the pub quizzes, and all these things as well. That's great. That's excellent. Well, one of the things that you talked about, I want to go back to, is the person that got all these promotions. And I think that in itself is, as they say, out of the box, right? Because some companies are very rigid. You know, we give promotions on November 13th every year (laughs) or something like that. And to be a company where you recognize someone is going beyond, you know, what, what their job level is right now and to recognize that regardless of, has it been six months? Has it been a year or whatever? Um, not only do I think it's, I'm assuming it's very special for that person to be recognized like that, right? Somebody's really watching what I'm doing. Somebody's appreciate what I'm appreciating what I'm doing. But the rest of the people around that person also say, wow, if I work harder and smarter and come up with new ideas or reach my goals or combination of all those, I'm going to be rewarded too because that's what happens in this company. There's too many companies that don't do that. And so what happens is the workforce says, well, why should I go above and beyond? Nobody cares. Uh, uh, Absolutely. I mean, I think it does come back to the inspiration piece. The two the two, two of the best tools that are underused, in my opinion, the two most underused tools that, that, that any leader has in any business are humility and inspiration. And if you can inspire a, a, an individual to, to produce work at the very, very top of their game and often produce a level of work that they, even they didn't know they could do, wow, then you've got something really quite special and magical. Um, and the other one is, is humility, I think. In any leader, whether it's a team leader or a manager or a managing director even, um, you know, a, a little bit of humility, I think, go, goes a long, long way. Um, but, yeah, no, I, you know, in, in inspiration is, is, is quite important, as I've already said. Um, and, um, and, and, and having being inspired by a, a team member who's maybe had promotion and, and, and deservedly so, then that can only breed further inspiration within, within the business. I think we're in quite a fortunate position. So we, we, we grew by, you know, we had 20, 20 team members, you know, about sort of two years ago. We're now sitting with over 70, 75 team members now. So um, I think as a result of the growth, we are fortunate in that we have had opportunity for promotion. You know, it's not, we've, we've not stayed still. So there's been a huge amount of opportunity around that. Right. And at the end of the day, if you've got someone who has performed in their chosen field, and, it's, and, it's, and has been aspirational in, in terms of progressing, then, you know, why, why wouldn't we do that? In the UK, we have a, a thing called CMAP, 
which stands for Certificate in Mortgage Advice and Practice, which is essentially the qualification you need to be a mortgage advisor. So we have a, a, an academy where, sorry, we will sponsor people and pay for people to, to, or partly pay for people to go through the CMAP qualification. Uh, and if they do that, and if they show signs of being uh, a, a good advisor, a competent advisor, and a good salesperson, then absolutely we will give them a chance to, to become an advisor. Our goals are to reach 100 advisors over the next uh, year, year and a half. We're currently sitting with around about 42, 43. So we're, we're continuing to grow and we'll continue to promote. Yeah, I've always felt that good leaders inspire people to be more than they even think of themselves, you know, um, because a lot of sometimes people have low expectations for themselves, but a really good leader can see something beyond what they see and then help them to rise up above what they thought they could be. Yeah, absolutely. And that to me is a, a really good picture of what a great leader is. Not easy, not easy. And I don't, I don't have, I don't profess to have any or all of the answers on that, but I think it's just, you know, it's a lot of common sense and a lot of basic people skills and support and, um, and, and, and a lot of leading from the front and all that sort of stuff as well. You know, there's a lot of just basic stuff, I think, that often we, we, we don't always do quite as well as we can. And I also think that sometimes, um, you know, in work situations, especially in leadership, um, we tend to, to make it more complicated than it needs to be. And I find, again, what you were talking about, the humility, the inspiration, the ability to have a conversation and be one-on-one -on -one with people. These, these are the aspects that really allow people to grow to the best they can be within your company, which not only is good for them, but it's good for the company as well. And, of course, all the people that you serve. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. You know, we have a very sort of transparent um, the way that we run the business. We don't have a strong hierarchical um, method of running the business. My door is 100% always open. And actually, you know, any ideas I come up with, I will, I will immediately run them past my senior management team. And, um, you know, we, we bounce ideas of, of one another of time. We share challenges and, and opportunities. But I agree, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. Um, <laughs> Although, although it's not always easy, uh, sometimes things do become slightly more complex. But yeah, no, I think it's, I think it's a good point. If you can keep things simple, then why overcomplicate them? So tell us what you have in your bright mind there that you want to do differently or enhance going forward. You've got a lot of things going for this company. It's obviously growing in leaps and bounds. I, I read that you're going to open up yet another office. So things are moving in the right direction. What do you do differently or even more of to continue that growth? Wow, it's a big question. I think, <laughs> I, you know, I, I've, I've spent the last 18 months building the infrastructure of the business to be a, a, a big business. And, um, and, I, I, and we now have the, the, the components, I believe, within the business to really push us on to the next level in terms of advisor numbers and production. We're partnered with an amazing firm, as in Mortgage Advice Bureau, the network. We are part of their business. It's a different, a different business, but we're part of it. We're, we're in a strong partnership. Um, and, 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 and to answer your question, to come back to one of the first things we spoke about, I think it would be the core values. If we truly believe in the core values, embed them in everybody that comes in, and, and fundamentally that is cascaded down to the management and the junior management and the team leaders and every single person in the business, then then, then while we've got a good chance of success, you know, it's not all about volume and size of business. It's not really all about that. You know, life is, 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 a, is, is a journey. It's a journey of moments. And I think every now and again, you should look back and, and, uh, and, and, and say, you know, we're doing okay. We're having fun. It's, it's a good time. You know, I, I don't want to get to the point where, you know, I, I'm retired or I move on and, and actually you miss all the fun. Cause arguably I'm having, I love coming to work at the moment. I, you know, I, I, I love working with the people I work with. I think we're in a, a, a great time in the business and, and you want to enjoy that enjoy that now. So I, I'm kind of living in the moment, but looking, looking ahead as well. And, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's exciting. You know, I want, to be, uh, I want to be the biggest broker in Scotland and I want to be um, sort of top five in the UK within the next sort of couple of years. And, 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 and if we continue how we go, then who knows? We, we, we could well achieve that. 
Yeah, and I, I, I totally agree. I think that there is at some point you need that mixture of, like you said, having plans and being in the moment. And I think you can do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know when I look back to you and go, oh, sugar, that was fun. I missed it. So, yeah. <laughs> well, this was fun too, and I did not miss it. So thank you so much, Dominique, for being with us on Businesses That Care Today. I really appreciate you taking the time and juggling the times between Scotland and Pennsylvania so that we could do this. Thanks again. Julianne, this is only my second ever podcast and I've never done a transatlantic one. So I've had great fun too. Thank you so much for inviting me on. Um, and hopefully I've, I've, I've given maybe one or two little nuggets, I hope. I'm sure you have. And again, we'll have them in the show notes. Uh, please subscribe to Mere Mortals Unite podcast. This is a special series, Businesses That Care. You can subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss another great episode on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, and we have all those links in the show notes. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can follow us and subscribe so you'll get the next um, episode. It's been a pleasure having you with me today, my listeners. Without you, this is nothing. <laughs> so go out and have yourself a great day. And remember, simple solutions can give you big results. Thanks for listening to Businesses That Care. Share it with your friends and colleagues. To learn more about Julianne Sullivan, this podcast, and receive free and valuable information, go to juliannesullivan.com or meremortalsunite.com. We look forward to the pleasure of your company next time.